Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. Another video inside of, sorry mittens, inside of Stampy's lovely world. And today in this video, I'm of course being joined by mittens. I am as well going to be joined by Elfa Lee's hand. And uh, there's also a slippery fella and a uh, lovely person uh, somewhere in my world. And we're going to go and uh, meet them a little bit later on in the video. But firstly, good morning. How are you doing today? Are you fresh? Are you wide awake? Ready for another day's fun in Stampy's lovely world? Good. That is what I like to hear. A nice little spin and everything. <laughs> but we can't have any fun. Until we've had our breakfast. It's very important. The most important meal of the day. And that is because it's cake. Come on, Lee. Come on, can I have my breakfast? Come on. Nom 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 nom. Oh, that is literally my favourite part of all of my videos, just when I get to have my cake in the morning. And my second favourite part is when I get to add someone to my love garden. And uh, today, to my love garden, I am adding kittens 12222. No, 1222. There we go. Uh, I'm adding kittens because uh, a while ago I posted on my Facebook and Twitter asking people to leave suggestions for the names of two mystery snow golems. And uh, she suggested the names uh, Holly and Jolly. And I thought they were awesome names and uh, they're the names I'm going to pick. And uh, the reason why I wanted names in the first place is because over in my reindeer rodeo, um, I'm going to be um, building two snow golems. Well, not building, um, creating, bringing to life uh, two snow golems uh, to just to wander around the area and uh, just generally make the place look nicer and more Christmassy. So uh, yeah, over there, I'm going to be building uh, Jolly, who's going to be a boy, and Holly, uh, who is going to be a girl. And they're going to be two snow golem twins that are going to live uh, inside of my reindeer rodeo. But before that, uh, it's time for me to pick a dog. And Mittens, you are not picking the dog this time because we all know who Mittens is going to pick. She's going to pick Duncan. I don't even know where she is. I think she might be a bit shy. She's a bit embarrassed because in my last video, I think I uh, I mentioned that Mittens might fancy Duncan a little bit. Uh, anyway, Lee, do you want to pick? Lee wants to take Sherbet. What a jolly good choice. And Sherbet uh, is the one down here with the uh, long tail. That's the way uh, you can tell which one's Sherbet. So uh, he can be accompanying us in this video. We also need to go down here and pick a squid. Which squid shall I take with me on my video? I'm going to take this squid, the ballistic squid. And look at him. You're actually working. You're actually building a house now. For ages, this has just been an empty room. And look, there's some stairs and a bed. I mean, it's not the most amazing home decor I've ever seen, but it's a star squid. You're getting there. You're getting there. <laughs> Maybe one video uh, I can join squid and we can have a whole video decorating your room and making it uh, look all slippery and marvellous. <laughs> uh, but for now... Uh, what we're going to be doing is playing games. Uh, basically, all we're doing in this video is having a load of fun. And ow, what happened there? I got stuck in the wall or something. Uh, we're going to be playing the Reindeer Rodeo, uh, which I built in my last video. Uh, we are then going to play the What Goes Up game, uh, which I built in the video before. And uh, then, uh, as well, uh, we're also going to be riding the It's a Lovely World ride, which is um, a ride I built a while ago, and I've had a few goes on it, but I've never actually ridden it when it's 100% complete. The last time I rode it, the uh, the music wasn't working, and I've not actually been on it since uh, while the music's working. So we can have the first official ride of the It's a Lovely World ride. So basically, uh, it's going to be 20 minutes of fun inside of Love, uh, Stampy's Lovely World, and I'm uh, definitely looking forward to it. But first, uh, off to the, uh, the Reindeer Rodeo. And amazingly, we pretty much completely built it in my last video, in a one video, we managed to actually almost finish something. Uh, since then, uh, all I've done is hide some of the redstone, and I put a few more blocks of snow and I think a few torches down, but uh, apart from that, uh, it's pretty much left exactly as it was, and uh, the last time we did it, I won. Uh, but that was kind of just a, a little test to go. This is going to be uh, the first official Reindeer Rodeo tournament, and I've got an official timer, I've got a stopwatch with me, and uh, we're going to see how long everyone can stay on. And here's someone on it already! Ready. Hello, Amy Lee. How are you doing today? <laughs> Getting a little bit of practice on, are you on top of the uh, the top of the reindeer? <laughs> I love the reindeer. How cute does that reindeer look? <laughs> oh, he looks so adorable. I love the size of those massive reindeer, those massive uh, antlers. <laughs> I think he might have some trouble trying to get inside of doors. And oh no, it looks like Amy's left the game. I guess she uh, won't be riding at first. Anyway, the first thing for me to do uh, is to go in here and build a uh, holly and jolly. So I've got what I need to make them here. So it's just uh, two pieces of snow. Uh, one, two, and then the pumpkin. And there we go. There is Holly. Welcome to the world, Holly. Welcome to Stampy's lovely world. Uh, let's go give uh, Holly her brother then, shall we? Here is 
Jolly! There we go. Let's see if they make friends. Well, they are they are siblings after all. Let's see if they like each other. Oh look, they're going to say hello. They're gonna go and say hello to each other. I don't I don't think they I don't think they're much interested in each other, to be honest. Hopefully there's gonna be no sibling rivalry or anything. Right, everyone just needs to be very careful to leave the gate shut, otherwise there's gonna be a big trail of snow wandering all around the world. <laughs> anyway, let's not waste any time. Uh, let's get straight to the game. Uh, over here, Lee, uh, there's a little hidden chest down here full of boats. Uh, if you want to grab one, you can go first, seeing as you are uh, a little bit of a veteran, and you can show uh, Squid and Amy how to do it. It looks like uh, Squid has there made friends with one of the snow golems. <laughs> Unfortunately, they are identical twins, uh, which makes it very difficult to tell them apart, so I might struggle a little bit. <laughs> anyway, do you want to hop on? I'm going to go and very quickly get my stopwatch ready uh, so I can go and time you. And uh, the first ride will begin in three, two, one, go. And Squid, I can't even see anything now. Right, okay, I've started the timer. As always, we're going to start off slowly and gradually get quicker. Oh, Lee's already having some trouble. Look, he's right on the edge already. I remember he didn't do very well last time. Right, I'm going to start getting quicker now. Things are going to get harder and he is off and that was 12 seconds. You managed to stay on for 12 seconds. It's not the best time, but you know what? You did okay. I think you did better than last time. Uh, people could definitely beat that time, uh, but it doesn't mean that you're out yet, Lee. Uh, so, uh, Squid or Amy, uh, do one of you want to go and hop up on top of the reindeer and uh, take Lee's place? We can get rid of this uh, old boat here and yeah if you grab a boat from a chest squid you want to go up and uh, yeah you can go and have the uh, the second go so the time to beat so far is 12 seconds you need to try and stay on uh, for longer than that so place down your boat hop in and i'll start the time now and we're off so once again i'm going to be fair i'm going to start off doing it slowly like i did for lee and then eventually i'm going to gradually start getting quicker and quicker just look at him there getting bounced up and down he looks very calm he looks very calm and composed look how steady he is the boat's like not even rocking at all he's not rocking the boat right i know what this means then i'm gonna have to go crazy right let's go and press it as fast as i can and he's off he is off straight away that was 22 seconds squid managed to stay on for there not a bad time not a bad time at all uh, so you're the winner so far uh, so amy um, i think oh no is he still on is he still here i think he's off yeah i know he's still going okay right well, i'm gonna have to carry on the time right let's start the time again <laughs> right let's just go really fast our oh, squid's doing well there i think what we're gonna do if anyone stays on for longer than a minute uh, we're just gonna say that they managed to master the ride and then uh, we can just see how many people can stay on for longer than a minute but he's not even moving at all there look how good he's doing <laughs> hello john do you want to give us a wave, Squid? Do you want to say hello? Oh, is that him off? No, he's doing okay. I think he's done it. I think he's been able to stay on for more than a minute. That is very impressive. And that's his first time doing it. You managed to beat the reindeer rodeo. Well, I wonder what his technique was. No one stayed on for that long before. Nicely done. Do you want to get rid of your boat then there, Squid? And Amy... I'm sorry, you got a tough act to follow, but you're going up next. Let's see if you can uh, manage to stay on for longer than a minute, or at least if you can stay on for uh, longer than 12 seconds uh, in order to beat Lee. Mittens is getting all excited. Are you going to have a go after Mittens? Uh, I'm not entirely sure if that's going to be a good idea. And oh no, Amy's lagged out again. <laughs> I think she was nervous and she was trying to get out of doing it. <laughs> okay, tell you what, I'm going to go then, Lee. Do you want to go on the lever? Uh, I'm going to go and jump in line, and uh, I'm going to go and have a go myself. So I'm going to go and try and hop up onto the back of the reindeer, and uh, Hopefully Amy's not going to reappear halfway through and knock me off. Okay, I'm on and I'm starting the timer now. Okay, so all I need to do is I try and hold forward and try and stay on. I'm going to try and copy Squid's tactic. Squid seemed to do really well. He was just staying like exactly still and he managed to survive. If you stay there, Amy, you won't be able to keep me on. I know I'm falling off already. How did Squid do it? How did Squid manage to stay on so well? I managed to beat 12 seconds though. I've at least managed to get um, second, if not third place. I'm doing very well here. Oh no, I'm slowly drifting towards the edge. Um, this is where Lee's going to start getting faster as well. I was able to do it as I was going slowly. I can see Sherbet there in the back background cheering me on and oh no he's going crazy again this is what he did last time and knocked me off and i am off that was 35 seconds i managed to stay on for i'm kind of proud of that it wasn't up to, to squid standard but that wasn't that wasn't too bad that was okay okay amy it's your go now uh, so if you beat 35 seconds you beat me uh, if you stay on for longer than 12 seconds you beat lee and uh, if you stay on for over a minute, uh, you're able to, to draw with squid. And I wouldn't get on that boat. That boat's in a, in a bad place. Let me go and... There we go. Get a little bit of practice in for the uh, the bow and arrow game we're going to be doing afterwards. Right, do you want to take your place then, Amy? Uh, so if you yeah, place down your boat 
Oh uh, yeah, it's easier to do it from the uh, the top of the reindeer. And she's on, and I have started the timer. And once again, we're gonna start off slowly and do it gradually. Just little little baby hops going up and down, and then slowly but surely we're gonna start build building it up. I think she's to put her boat in a good place. I think she's getting pushed against the ear of the reindeer. Maybe that's gonna help her. Maybe she's gonna stay on. Oh no, is she off? Oh no, she has managed to stay just about on. Right, okay, it's gonna start getting really quick now. If you do it too quick, it kind of just doesn't work, and it just sort of all just freezes is in place. Right, I'm just gonna press my trigger as fast as I can and just go crazy. Is she staying on? It's not even moving at all. Oh, she's close to a minute. She's at 30 seconds. If she stays on for another 30 seconds, I think she's gonna win. I think she's been smart. She's just wedged herself in up against the back of the reindeer and her boat is just staying. Maybe I need to make the uh, the reindeer's body a little bit bigger so you can't get stuck where she is. I don't think anything's gonna make her fall off. She's just having fun. She's just happy to be there throwing lovely, jubbly, lovely fluff fluff petals all over the place. And she's got five more seconds to stay on and then she's gonna draw with Squid and she has done it. She has stayed on for a full minute. Well done. So that means Squid and Amy win. Uh, I was in third place and sorry Lee, sadly. Uh, he did have to go first though, but sadly uh, Lee wasn't able to win. Uh, but it doesn't matter. That is basically uh, what the what the game is going to be. Uh, mittens, don't worry. I'm not going to make you have to have a go. Uh, but what we can do now is uh, go and switch straight over and go and play the What Goes Up game. And uh, we should probably be quick because it's uh, getting quite late and all the googlies are about to spawn. And uh, yeah, if you didn't see this game, basically everyone goes inside of a booth and uh, you need to fire arrows up into the air uh, to do try and destroy five minecarts that are in your colour. And uh, once you destroy five of them, uh, yeah, yeah, then the uh, the door will open. And Squid's here stealing my arrows. You're on the blue side, Squid, for your your, your skin. Uh, you should have a, a bunch of arrows in there as well and bows and stuff. Uh, you can steal some of mine if you want. I've actually got a good bow anyway. I got my uh, power and infinity bow, so I'm going to use that. Um, it's probably a good idea... Uh, if Mittens and Sherbet sit down somewhere safe for this, it's going to be quite dangerous. They can come in here as long as the uh, the dangerous pig stays in its cage. Uh, there we go. Sherbet, do you want to sit down? Do you want to come over here? Sit down, Sherbet. Stop playing around. You can sit on the fence if you want. And where's Mittens? Mittens, are you going to come join us? Mittens? Mittens? Oh, there, there she is. Oh, she's behind me. How did you sneak up on me? You can sit down there, Mittens. And then uh, hopefully they're going to be safe under the uh, under the cover of the uh, the circus tent. Uh, anyway, let's play. Everyone uh, into their booze. Is everyone ready? Has everyone got their, their arrows at hand? Everyone seems to be in place. So we will begin the game in three, two... One, go, 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 go. And there's a lot of pressure on me this time because I won the last game fantastically. I was miles ahead of everyone else. There's a lot of pressure uh, for me to have a repeat victory. But since then, uh, people would have been able to see the video and maybe uh, have another practice themselves. So uh, yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna have a, a lot more competition this time. Uh, it's Squid's first time playing the game though. Uh, Lee has played a few times and of course Amy has played before as well. So um, I'm not doing anything here. I've not managed to hit any of them. Well, I think I've hit them, but not destroyed them. Like sometimes if you don't hit them hard enough, uh, they don't actually get destroyed and they just kind of shake. And I've not got any of them yet. I'm doing absolutely awful here. Right, let's try firing a little bit higher. Maybe if I do it from a little bit higher. There we go. I've managed to get my first minecart down. That's probably one of the hardest ones uh, because it's so close. It's really hard to destroy it. Uh, you hit it, but you sometimes don't do it uh, hard enough to destroy it. And I saw it shake. I saw it shake. That's the worst thing. The worst thing in the world is when you hit it, but you don't actually get to destroy it. Luckily, because I got infinity, uh, my bow is not going to run out of arrows, uh, so I can just shoot them like crazy. Like, hopefully my bow's not going to break, because uh, that would be the most annoying thing in the world. I don't know what I'd do then. I think I'd, I'll just lose. Of oh, course, it's actually getting really hurt. Okay, I'm going to skip that one. I'm failing on that one. I'm going to go and try and shoot another one over this side. Oh, I shock it. I got a big shake on it there. Right, let's try shooting a little bit higher, maybe. Maybe if I get some some nice sloping ones. Oh, that's good. I managed to get it. That is two down for me. Right, let me go and try and get that one uh, over in the corner over there. I don't like that one on the right. I was struggling with that one. Oh, I got them close then. I got them really close. Oh, no, someone's shooting at me. I can see fire arrows coming in my direction. I hope that was an accident. Oh, look at Squid's side. Squid's just setting fire to everything. Oh, he's got a few of them down, though. Okay, I'm going to have to be quick. Oh, no, Squid. I think he's going for me. That is an actual tactic that you can do. If you do actually take out everyone else in the game and you do kill them, then you do technically win. So um, please don't do that, Squid. Please don't do that. <laughs> I'm standing really close up against the wall. God, he is going for me. Look at him. 
him. That's what you get if you're going to go for me, Squid. I'm going to shoot some back at you. Did I get him? Oh, I think I was pretty close. Anyway, I've only got uh, one more minecart to get on this side. And so if I try and stand here, try and stay under cover from Squid's arrows. Oh, God, he really is going for me now. Oh, there we go. I managed to get it. I've only got one more to get. Can I get it before Squid sets me on fire, though? Oh, no, I'm hitting the wrong one. I was actually hitting Squid's minecart there in the middle. I do not want to help him out, seeing as he's been bullying me. And I've done it. I've escaped. Even though I was getting bullied by Squid, I managed to get out. My door is opened. Right, let me go up the top here and see how everyone else is doing. I want to try and keep my distance from Squid's move. He's still just shooting at me. <laughs> I'm not even in there anymore, Squid. Uh, so I got all five of mine. Let's go and see how Amy's doing down here. Oh, no. I think she's having a bit of trouble. Amy. Amy, turn around. I've got something for you. There we go. These are to cheer you up. Here's some lovely, jubbly love, love petals. <laughs> it doesn't matter. This game isn't for everyone. You're good at other things. Uh, let's go over here and see how many Lee managed to get. Uh, I think he did a few. Oh, he's doing awesome. He's got four of them. He only needs to get one more in the middle. Look at Squid Side in the background. All of the fire all over the place. That's it, Lee. Slightly to the left and slightly further from where you fired. Uh, a little bit harder. Careful. You're going to hit Amy's there. A little bit harder than that, Lee. Maybe a little bit higher as well. Uh, yeah, still a little bit further. Squid's just firing them up in the air and hoping he gets lucky. He did actually do quite well over here. He managed to get two of them, which is uh, it's, it's pretty good. You know, they are quite hard to hit, as you uh, saw from my side. Uh, come on, Lee. You've got to get that final mine cut. Oh, that's looking good. A little bit further, a little bit harder still. You got it! Lee managed to do it! You managed to get it! So Lee comes in second place. I think we can say Squid got third as he managed to get to. And uh, sadly, Amy came in last. But it doesn't matter, because uh, as long as we had fun, that's okay. Right, I'm going to stand here, and I'm going allow to allow you to get out, Amy, if you want. I'm going to let you out of your prison, and I'm going to let Squid out as well. And please don't kill me, Squid. Please don't. <laughs> There's just fire all over the place from him going crazy. The problem with his aim is that because he's got eyes on the side of his head, uh, it's kind of hard for him to aim forward. Oh, there we go. He just broke his way through the glass. <laughs> oh, dude, that was awesome. I really enjoyed that game, my uh, what goes up game. Uh, anyway, as I did say, uh, before the end of the video, uh, we are going to quickly hop over into here and play the It's a Lovely World uh, game. Well, it's not really a game. It's more of just a, a ride. It's a, a gentle boat ride just to uh, calm down and chill out before the end of the video. So uh, first thing I need to do is turn the music on. So I think if I switch that up and then press that button... Can you hear any music playing? There we go. The music has been set off. So uh, if everyone leaves uh, a little bit of a gap from each other uh, as they go around, otherwise we're all going to bang into each other and have a big pile up in the middle. And uh, I seem to have placed my boat into the wall. Do you want to give me a little nudge, a little tap, a li just a, a little knock just to send me on my way, Lee? A uh, tiny little tap will send me off. Nope, there we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. A nice tiny little tap. Squids comes barging in and just knocks me forward. And we are off. And so you won't hear the music playing constantly. Uh, basically, every now and then you'll just hear little bits of music as it goes past. But uh, it's still quite cool. It's still quite nice uh, having your own unique music as you go round. And if you're not seeing the ride, uh, that's the zombie that woke me up on my first night. There's me. That's supposed to be me. And that's Gregory, my first dog. Uh, this here is something that you should all recognize uh, because I was here earlier in the video. That is uh, Stampy's Love Garden, uh, which is where I checked it out earlier. And uh, here is my bedroom. Uh, that is, of course, Elverly. Uh, there's a little bit of cake there, which he gave me for breakfast. That's that's where his little secret room is. And there's me again with a, a slightly different but very jolly looking face there. And we are now heading to the moon. And this is uh, where my lunar friends is. And there we go. We can make my lunar friends dance as we go past. And these are uh, the aliens that I saw. Uh, you might remember ages ago I had a trip to the moon. And yeah, I ran into some aliens there. And they actually snuck back to my world. And uh, yeah, there was a whole drama that went on with that. And so uh, here's their uh, little recreation of them here inside here. And I love the music. You can only hear it every now and then. Uh, but when it goes past, it's really good. Anyway, here is Amy Lee. Uh, there's another version of me. Uh, there's another little Elfa Lee there, always uh, accompanied by a cake. And uh, there is Rosie H33, my uh, resident po uh, penguin inside of Stampy's lovely world. And here we come across the evil hit the target, who is uh, looking appropriately uh, menacing on the top of his castle up there. Uh, luckily, uh, I did manage to defeat him in a sea battle, so uh, hopefully... Uh, we have seen the uh, the last of hit the target in my world. And here's you. There is Ballistic Squid. There's a squid there and there's another squid there. Looks just like you, squid. You look lovely. Uh, there is Finball and uh, that is Ankh55 there. And at the very end, uh, just to send us off on the ride, we can see Henry and Hilda who are standing there saying goodbye to us as we finish the ride. So there we go. This is uh, Stampy's Lovely World uh, ride. It's a lovely world after all, sorry, ride. 100% uh, finished. And then hopefully... 
We'll just come to a very slow and gradual stop at the end, and then we can just hop out. Or oh, I'm just going to get barged by squid on the way out. <laughs> evil will do, evil will do. There we go. That is, that is the ride finished. And that is also the video finished. So hopefully you enjoyed it. I certainly had a lot of fun, uh, fun playing around with my friends uh, on all of my games and rides. And in the next video... Uh, things are going to be getting very Christmassy round here, so uh, that is definitely something for us to look forward to. Uh, so as always, a very big thank you to Elfily, uh, Ballistic Squid, and Amy Lee uh, for joining me in the video. An extra big thank you to you uh, for watching the video, and hopefully I'll see you in my next episode. Bye!